this is going to prove to be pretty fascinating. What I want to show you here are these pieces of nature's concrete called conglomerate. What this is is little pebbles of jasper, chert, navoculite, all cemented together by nature with iron deposits. These are like beach gravels. Um, Southwest Arkansas used to be covered with a shallow sea. And this is beach gravel, sand and rocks cemented together with iron. And these are really hard. You can't, can't break them apart. This one doesn't have as much variety in color, but different sizes of uh, pebbles in it. So these are all pretty fascinating. I've done several other videos about conglomerates, even two showing buildings in Nashville, Arkansas, which is 15 miles from the Crater of Diamonds, and Bingen, Arkansas, which is halfway between the Crater and Nashville. Uh, and I showed buildings that were made out of pieces of conglomerate, as if these were bricks or something. They used them as building blocks to make some buildings, and those are pretty fascinating videos. If you want to Google, Google uh, conglomerate buildings near Nashville or in Arkansas or something, um, I've also done videos of pieces of conglomerate that are as big as this table, and it is a big table. Uh, here's one more I'll show you. Uh, a lot of fine grain. These are just yard specimens I have. I picked up mainly at the Crater of Diamond State Park. It used to be capped with a layer of this conglomerate, nature's concrete, and it is hard. If uh, you had to bust that open, it would be quite a job. But I want to show you something similar. I'm going to unveil. Uh, this was sent to me recently. See how similar this is to a piece of conglomerate, but this is not conglomerate. We sell boxes of our unsearched diamond ore from the Worthington Diamond Mine, which is one of the seven known lamperite intrusions outside of the Crater of Diamond State Park. And we filled a box and, you know, it's unsearched. And so <laughs> I just shovel it up and throw it in and let the people find whatever's in there. Well, Byron Johns of Bucket List Mining out of Gower, Missouri, found this in his box, one of his boxes. He's bought several from me. He mailed it back to me and said, what do you think it is? And at first it looked like conglomerate, but it it, does, it is metal. Look, you can see kind of an edge along here. And uh, you can see here, this is metal. In fact, it makes me even want to, you know, try to pick at it some to uncover it. But, but I don't want to mess it up. So I posted on Facebook, uh, Arkansas History Unearthed and other sites, Diamonds in Arkansas and Crater of Diamonds, and said, what do you think it is and what do you think I should do? And uh, some friends said, you need to go get Evapo Rust. And since this is just cemented together with iron, just like the conglomerates are gravel cemented together with iron, this is a piece of metal that seems to have pebbles and sand cemented onto it. See, that looks like conglomerate, the pebbles in there. It seems to have gravel cemented to this piece of iron, a piece of metal, with uh, iron as the cement, just like with conglomerate. So if you put it in a vapo rust, it should uh, clean it up. So we're going to launch an experiment here. I have a very fancy plastic dish called uh, a butter dish, margarine, <laughs> and uh, I put it in here, and I'm going to pour this evapo rust in there and give it 24 hours, and we'll come back tomorrow and do another video. I mean, I could leave the video running, but that would be a long video. <laughs> we'll just come back in 24 hours and see what this looks like after it's cleaned up. So, uh, uh, check back for my next video, and... Uh, We'll 
see what you think it is. But in the meantime, write down, uh, comment on this video what you think this is. So, uh, some piece of metal and why it was on top of our volcanic ore with some other gravels and things and beach deposit. I do not know. but And I don't know how old this is, but it's old enough that um, it's got that built up gravel and sand cemented onto it. So anyway, we'll see what this is tomorrow. Thanks for checking out our Diamonds in Arkansas videos.